welcome to Conversations. I remember meeting you, I think, in 2007. And, um, and I remember standing out in a car park. I'd come from Australia. And um, I think we stood out there for two hours, three hours in the car park, just talking and sharing of our journeys. So Brian, welcome to Conversations. Thank since you. then, since those days, both of us were observers at the International Ministerial Congress. And we look back on all that God has been doing among us and with us and through us. And you find yourself now as the Executive Director of the International Ministerial Congress of the Church of God Seventh Day. Brian, can you tell us a little bit about your journey and experience that brings you to where you are today? Sure. Well, what brought me to work uh, where I am now, I uh, grew up in the Church of God Seventh Day. Uh, I um, was uh, part of a, a group in the United States here, and uh, we uh, I was always interested in, in the, uh, what the church was doing worldwide. I was uh, got the opportunity to to see uh, images and, and act, hear about activities, and it just uh, caught my attention. I felt that uh, you know God was leading me to want to be involved in that kind of work. And um, so, as a, at a fairly young age, as a teenager, started to get a vision for maybe of getting involved somehow. Mm -hmm. Didn't know how exactly, but. Uh, um, also, a desire for, to see our church um, uh, achieve its more of its potential, as I, I, I always felt mm -hmm. that our church ha is 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 unique. It has a lot to offer to the world, and as I've been able to travel in different parts of the world, I see that people are looking for a church like the Church of God. And so, I went to school and got a business administration degree, knowing that the type of work that I was interested in was uh, going to be more administrative in nature. Mm. And then following that I got uh, involved, or I got more training in um, more ministerial type uh, um, uh, education, and so to prepare for, for, for whatever God might want me to do. So when I was uh, around 30 years old, um, I, be, I had the opportunity to I felt like God was was uh, gave me. He was directing me to ask if I could get involved, uh, as I knew there was a need, and so I um, I contacted uh, Brother Wade Rose and, and Calvin Burrell, and um, just asked if I could help out mm -hmm. and see how that would go for about six months. And so they they gave me that opportunity, and uh, from from that point on, uh, I was given more op uh, opportunities to serve, mm -hmm. and eventually was asked to to help as a executive director mm -hmm. and have been doing that for about uh, four, three four years now. Ryan can you tell me what the International Ministerial Congress is? Sure the the International Ministerial Congress is the uh, organization or ministerial a body that connects our church at a global level. It was established uh, about 40 plus years ago and uh, since that time it's uh, it's brought the church together and, and uh, now 44 different uh, nations or, or conferences and uh, and and so that's um, it's it, its purpose is to facilitate facilitate doctrinal unity and the global evangelistic mission of the church and so uh, over the, in our work that's where our objective is to to train and to bring and and and, and bring together people from diverse backgrounds and also to to uh, explore and, and work together to uh, establish the church in, in, in various parts of the world. Mm. That's uh, in a nutshell what uh, the IMC is. Yeah. So where are we today within the IMC? Where is the focus? What is what is happening behind the scenes within the International Ministerial Congress? Well, what's, there's quite a bit happening. Uh, we've um, we see the need to provide more services to our members, uh, and uh, in the, following those two objectives that I mentioned just a few minutes ago. That, um, but right now we've been uh, uh, forming teams in different areas such as media and communications, uh, evangelism, uh, ministerial type uh, in training, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, project management, uh, and so IMC is uh, is is uh, putting the infrastructure in place to facilitate that, so that our members, our, our member conferences, can. Uh, be more involved, work together in a much more productive manner, and we're 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 optimistic and and working towards and uh, developing plans and, and putting in place uh, training and, and 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 materials and mm -hmm. all kinds of, uh, of different um, 
services or, 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 or items that will benefit mm. our conferences mm. Mm. Uh, so that they can achieve their potential. Mm. So mm. we're bringing together people from diverse backgrounds with, with, uh, uh, cons uh, with skills that are, are very much relevant to those areas and so we're able to benefit from the, mm. the strengths of those, uh, of mm. that God has given mm. uh, our, the people with the members uh, uh, of, our, of our International Ministerial Congress. Mm. Mm. And so that's very, it's a very exciting time and uh, we um, anticipate that uh, we'll see, or begin seeing the results of that yeah. in, in the near term. When you're looking forward now, as you've just indicated then, um, what's your personal vision or your collective vision of where the IMC is heading towards? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that, um, you know, as we mentioned, the, mm -hmm. the Congress is, well, is established in about, it has representation in about 44 nations. Uh, there's about uh, 16 more that are in the uh, developing and um, and uh, where the church is established and we're, we're, we're seeing that um, there's more interest out there there are people looking for what we have to share as far as our our uh, the teaching that we we, we have or and mm -hmm. um, and support you know for development of their infrastructure what's or you know administrative or or uh, you know physical you know uh, buildings and so forth and other ministries so I, I and, tis, and I and I mm. and many of the people who join the, the international industrial cars are people f coming from very diverse backgrounds, yeah. and as the church becomes more well known, mm. I we, mm. I, I would anticipate that we'll have an increasing number of people who are um, who will be, are becoming aware of the of mm. the church and want to be a part of it, and so we we're, we want to prepare ourselves so that they can f they can um, find the church. Yeah and uh, find a home in the Church of God Seventh Day. Mm, and I anticipate mm. the church will, will um, f uh, experience more, more mm, growth mm, mm. in the future and, um, and be able to make a, a greater impact. Yeah. On a personal note, what's been your greatest reward in involved in s service and, and part of the success story of the church? <laughs> what's your personal um, greatest reward? Well, my, I, I personally enjoy seeing people who are utilizing their gifts and talents um, and I guess that's what I personally am finding the most reward in in my work is uh, I realize I don't have all the skills, but I'm enjoying and, and, and trying to give people opportunity to use their, um, their gifts and talents. And, and when they do that, I, I, I see that the, the church is, is going to, to benefit in new ways that you know, we could never have thought of uh, being possible. So that to me is one of a major um, reward. Yeah. In our work. Oh, very interesting. And on the other side, there's always challenges that stretch you. Is there anything that you'd like to reflect on that has been mm -hmm. challenging as a part of the journey and is still part of the journey that we're working through? Mm -hmm. I think the biggest challenge is, uh, I guess, the w would be transitioning from where we've been in the past and mm -hmm. going kind of mm -hmm. in, 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 in building and improving. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes that, that's a, uh, a process and and uh, something that is always a challenge, I think, when you talk about an organization mm. and growth, and and so growth doesn't come easy. Mm, some, mm. Uh, but but uh, God, He's 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 providing the the people, the resources that we need, and so um, so I think that for me is is probably the more challenging part of mm, our work mm, mm. because we're, we're we're and we're also working with with uh, people from very diverse backgrounds, different education levels, different cultures, different mm, languages. Mm. And so there, there, those are things we have to be able to, to work through. And, mm -hmm. and, and, but but uh, thankfully, God is uh, giving us ways to, to mm -hmm. work together and mm -hmm. learn from each other and actually benefit from those, that mm -hmm. diversity mm -hmm. that we have. Um, can you tell me, just as we wrap up now, obviously the Congress meets at various times and various places around the world. And I understand that there's a, a Congress meeting in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. The, uh, next year, in the year 2020, uh, we will have uh, a meeting of our International Ministerial Congress. Uh, we have a, such a meeting every four years. And um, we have uh, a proposal to look at a, um, in, officially uh, in, implementing or putting in place a global administration for our church. Uh, to this point, the, the structure has, has, has facilitated the work to a certain extent, but we see the need mm -hmm. for more. And, um, and, and originally the Congress was formed as a, a ministerial body. So now we're trying, what we're, we're, we're working on is, is uh, 
forming a, a, an administration mm -hmm. that can better facilitate the global work mm -hmm. and allow all, each conference to, to um, be a part of okay. that okay. and be able to achieve more together. Okay. Brian, really enjoyed this conversation. Thank you very much and Thank we you. pray that God continues to bless and encourage and equip and prepare you for the journey ahead. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, John.